All right, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a mob farm. And to be clear, I am not the original designer for this. I have no idea who is. I don't know where the original design came from, so I'm not taking any credit for this. But I'm going to show you guys how to build it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys one or two of my favorite modifications that I've made throughout my time building this let's go all right so the first step that we're gonna have to do is to grab all of our materials out of this very grand chest i've set up for us we're gonna need a lot of some kind of stone i say stone you can use wood i use stone because of lightning wood burns if you're gonna use wood use one of the nether variants that way you don't have to worry about the lightning strikes or make a bunch of lightning rods copper but anyways we're gonna need about this is 19 and a half we're gonna need about 20 stacks of solid blocks then we're gonna need about six and a half to seven stacks of slabs uh some people use ladders i use scaffolding because it's easier for me to count uh we're gonna need a bunch of trap doors the amount of trap doors we're gonna need depends on the number of layers that we're gonna do because each spawning layer needs a bunch of trap doors like a whole stack so i usually do five so when i'm gathering the materials for this i usually go with around five to six stacks of trap doors and that gets me through just fine after that we're gonna need hoppers to collect stuff we're gonna need chests to collect stuff we're gonna need water to do stuff and you know put a bed up there because it's good it, it, it's good for your health and then of course we got our temporary blocks and another thing that i forgot that would be good for your health is some sort of light we're gonna go really high up it's gonna get really dark we're gonna need to light up a couple different areas all right so the first step we're gonna do is find a location these farms are all about location 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 the absolute best place in my opinion to build these farms is over an ocean biome 128 blocks in the sky so i got an ocean you can tell it's an ocean because there's kelp and kelp only generates in oceans so we're gonna go down here we're gonna go a little bit off of the shore and let's um slap down some stuff about right here now you can find these kelp uh, that are one block away from the surface and then just kind of put a block on top yeah that works that's the blocks on the surface and then just make a little platform it doesn't need to be huge it doesn't need to be grand we just need to know where the center is so once we have a little platform you can make it as big as you want um i make it really small because i fall a lot and the bigger you make it the more chance you're gonna have of falling onto it and dying so I make it, I do three by three because it has a center. And the next step is we're going to grab both of these scaffolding stack. And then I'm going to switch to creative or yeah, the other one. I'm going to switch to the other one. And then I'm going to lay down exactly two stack of scaffolding. I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to click and then I'm going to switch and then I'm going to click some more until it's gone. That's all the scaffolding. That's 128 blocks high. And the reason I do that is because I absolutely hate making 20 stacks of torches and running around all the caves and every nook and cranny and lighting it up it, I, I, it, that takes like two three hours in some places and it's just a lot faster to lay down two stacks of scaffolding the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a five by five platform so we're gonna do two blocks on each side of the top scaffolding like that and then just fill in the corners and this is gonna be like a saw like a good work area it doesn't necessarily have to be five by five but it's enough space to work with so next thing you want to do is you light up the platform so nothing spawns here while you're up there okay okay we're back we're back and i'm happy so it ended up being a six by whatever platform just build it how you want to build it okay we're gonna slap down two chests and honestly knock these guys out do it like that there we go now it looks like that and we're good so we're gonna grab some slabs we're gonna place our slabs on top of each hopper and then a solid block of some sort on those three sides so it should look like this you still got access to the chests and this is going to be where you stand to afk and kill everything after that we're going to go we're going to bring these three up one more two more so we're going to bring these three up two more haha <laughs> i figured out how to turn off the clouds i did it i did my due diligence you're welcome okay after this we're going to place a temporary block there and two blocks there making this fourth wall right that way we can stand 
under here and this is going to be our killing platform so starting from these blocks here we're going to go up 21 blocks the blocks that i'm standing on is going to be one so this is going to be two three four and then just all the way around Once you bring this pillar up by 21 blocks, the total drop height would be 21 and a half blocks. That's enough to leave each mob that falls down here at half a heart, and you can just kind of blow on them and kill them. Easy peasy. So after we bring up this pillar, we're going to take each one of these four sides, and we're going to bring them out to eight blocks total. So this block is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do that on all four sides. All right, and once you're done, it should look like this. And then after that, we're going to put a temporary block there and then a permanent block there. And then we're going to make walls go too high, leaving off the corner like that. OK, and once you have these all four walls filled in up too high, they should be they have to be two blocks high so the mobs don't jump out. Right. We can take our water buckets and put two in each one and they should just stop perfectly at the end of this block do this on all four sides so it should look like that right and now as a preventative measure we don't want to fall into this while we're building so just plug that up or put some water down there but just plug that up so just in case we fall or drop anything it always ends up here now the next step now that we have the transportation figured out we are going to have to make the spawning platforms so in order to make the spawning platforms we're going to start at this block right here and connect the two corners like that and then just fill it in and do this on all four corners and when you're done it should look just like this now what we're going to want to do is we're going to come to these two blocks right here you can pick any side it doesn't matter we're going to use these as a base we're going to place two blocks high and then we're going to go all the way around and when you come to the corner just place a temporary block two blocks high destroy that and keep going and when you're done the inside should look just like this you should have two high walls and the mobs are going to spawn on these four platforms and they're going to need to walk off into the water so the next step is we're going to grab our trap doors and we're just going to place them on all the edges and open them just like this what this is going to do is it's going to trick the mobs into thinking there's a block right here that they can walk on so their pathfinding kicks in and then they walk right off the edge into the water and down to their demise all right so now we got a, a transportation method we got a block to trick the mobs into walking off the edge now the next problem we would run into are spiders spiders if they fall down there they could potentially catch onto the wall and then crawl all the way back up here to the top preventing all the other mobs from falling down there so we don't want that to happen so we need to prevent spiders from spawning at all and the best way to do that is to take more trap doors and this is a very specific pattern that you have to follow so pay attention okay don't mess it up otherwise you'll mess up your farm okay you're gonna start in this corner always in the corner on the wall always in the corner on the wall we're gonna start in this corner we're gonna go over one down one place from this trap door we're gonna go over two down one over two down one over two down one all the way to the edge it should be on the very edge linking up with this trap door right here from this trap door we're gonna go down two over one up one over two up one over two up one over two so it should end up the last one should end up on this wall right here just under an offset to the first one from here this is where it gets complicated right from here we're gonna go to the second trap door we're gonna go up two over one and then from this trap door as well we're gonna go up two over one and we're gonna do that on both sides so up two over one up two over one and that's it it should look like that whenever you're done spiders need a three by three area to spawn and if you 
look at this, there's no three by three areas. So this is the pattern we need to follow in order to disrupt spiders spawning and keep the farm as efficient as possible. And you just do that on all four of these platforms. All right, and once you're done with the trap doors, it should look like this. You should have the exact same pattern on every corner. And now from here, we could put a roof on this, slab it up and spawn proof the very top of it and call it good to go. But I want to show you, I want to show off the efficiency of this farm. So I'm going to add two more layers real quick and then I'll be right back. So in order to add layers to this, what you want to do is you want to start with a temporary block on one of the walls it doesn't matter or what i like to do is come to this corner block go too high place a third and then start the platform that way you know where the corners are you know where the platform is going to be and it just it's always the same then you just fill it in exactly the same way as we did before destroy these blocks and then just fill it in and each subsequent layer that you build on this farm is going to be built the exact same as the first one. Okay, now once we have all of these second layer spawning platforms built, we're going to go to the water streams and the two blocks that are at the water stream. We're gonna raise each of those up by three. We're gonna do that on all four sides. So it should look like this. And the next step is optional, but I like to do it. Um, I like to slab, uh, just put bottom slabs on these blocks on the outside um, before you put your wall. I just think that gives it a nice little aesthetic look. And then also prevents you having to put temporary blocks down to turn around the corner. And now once we have our blocks too high, our walls we're just gonna repeat the exact same process as down here with the trap doors so we're gonna put trap doors on all of these edges go ahead and open them up and then we're gonna do the exact same pattern on the platforms as we did on the bottom layer And then it should look like this. It looks exactly the same as the top layer. And now two layers will work. Two layers will be nice, but two layers aren't anything crazy. So I encourage you to put a minimum of three layers. You're going to, you're going to continue doing the exact same thing. I've already showed you twice. So you should have it do a minimum of three three layers and then afk for about 15 20 minutes and tell me how it works how, how it goes what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna seal this thing off now i've tried using just slabs but i started using solid blocks because just slabs let light through and um mess up the spawning rates so the mobs are two blocks tall we want them to be able to spawn so we have to go up a block kind of offset like this and we're just going to seal this whole thing off all right and also don't forget like do not forget to break these blocks right here otherwise the whole thing will get clogged up and it's just it's just gonna be bad so we're gonna put that final block here and then we're gonna cover the entire top and bottom slabs just to prevent spawning or you can light it up up here but bottom slabs look cool all right and now we have this whole thing covered in bottom slabs and preventing spawning and everything is ready to go we slap some torches down so nothing spawns up here and you can afk here um phantoms won't spawn because you're under those by the way just fyi the final step is to throw some trap doors right there so creepers don't try to blow up in our faces and that's it that's done you just built a working super efficient all mob farm that's going to fill your chests up faster than you can figure out anything to do with the stuff all right i got my looting three sword right here and i'm gonna go do stuff for about 10 minutes i'm gonna switch over to survival on hard mode and that way you guys can see just how efficient this farm spawns with only two layers by the way keep in mind this is only two layers usually like i said usually i do around five but let's see what this one can do Oh, 
all right and i'm back from my 10 minute things and as you can see we are pretty full we got a bunch of creepers in there that's what tends to spawn most of the time creepers and zombies in in this farm that i've noticed so we're gonna grab our trusty sword and you can see down there we have zero levels let's see how close to 30 we can get in just 10 minutes uh more accurately it was like it was like 13 minutes All right, we got all the way from zero to 17 in just 10 minutes. That's crazy. And if we gather up all of the stuff we got, we got a stack of bones, half a stack of gunpowder, a stack and a quarter of zombie flesh, and almost a stack of arrows. And remember guys, that was just with two layers. Uh, Usually I build, uh, like I said, build a minimum of three and this is gonna be the best xp and like variety item farm you're ever gonna you're you're ever gonna and it just doesn't stop as long as you're here it just keeps going constant it's constantly spawning all right now that i've showed you guys how efficient this farm can be i'm gonna show you guys a couple of my favorite modifications that can be made to this farm to make it fit your play style you can decorate it however you want you can really do whatever you want with this farm as long as you follow just like a couple simple rules you know making sure the platforms are the right height you have the trap doors and the water and the 21 blocks and blah 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 this that and the other but let's go check out the stuff that we need to to make our first modification to this farm everything that we need for this modification is right here in the second grand chest where'd this come from anyways let's grab all of this stuff we're gonna need this is all exact amounts for this so we're gonna need 51 building blocks we're gonna need 42 chests 45 hoppers 10 redstone torches 10 redstone repeaters 10 redstone comparators 30 redstone dust 40 blocks that we can rename to use as a filler and an anvil to do the renaming of said blocks. So let's grab all of this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna need some scaffolding. We're gonna need a whole stack plus 60 because instead of going up 128 blocks, the item sorter is four blocks tall. So we're gonna go up 124. That way the killing chamber is, is still exactly 128 blocks high. So we're gonna start this off exactly how we started off that one. We're gonna find a piece of kelp. We're gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pikachu, I choose you and put a block. Make it a three by three and then put scaffolding in the middle and then go up 124 scaffolding for this one. So same thing, I'm gonna switch into survival so I don't lose count because I'm a doofus and then just I'm gonna place these until they're gone. All right, now once you have all your scaffolding placed down, we are going to be building a pretty sizable redstone machine up here. So for this one, you do have to put a pretty sizable platform. Let's do a 15 by 15. That'll probably be overkill, but it's really easy. We're just going to put seven blocks on each side. All right, so once you have the 15 by 15 platform built, we're going to start with the item sorter now. It's a lot easier to build this machine um if you start from the bottom instead of trying to incorporate an item sorter into that one i'm going to show you guys how to build the item sorter and then incorporate the mob farm to it so the first step is to pick a spot uh we're gonna need room for at least 10 chests let's kind of engage up a little bit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay we're gonna start right here we're gonna place a line of 10 double chest so two three four five ten and then on top of these double chests we're gonna do ten more double chests and we're gonna come behind them we're gonna put a hopper into each one of these chests okay. and make sure they're all going into the chest the little tail on the hopper should be curved into the chest and then behind the hoppers we're gonna go one block and we're gonna put a solid block just like that we're gonna put a solid block behind each 
one of the hoppers and then we're going to put a redstone torch on each one of those solid blocks facing the hoppers like that they should all look like that okay. very nice and then after that facing into the solid block we're going to put repeaters behind each one make sure they're on zero tick delay and then from here we're going to put a solid block behind each of the repeaters we're going to stand on that solid block we're going to look at the hoppers into the top chest and we're going to go one two three we're going to do that behind each one all the way across okay so so far you should look like that beside now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand on the chests we're gonna put comparators behind each of the hoppers make sure the two prong side is facing the hoppers that's very important then we're gonna come behind here we're gonna put redstone dust on every single block from going all the way down from the comparators to the repeaters just like that so it should look like that right okay. now we're going to go back to the chest we're going to stand on the chest and this part is very important you want to put a hopper into the comparator but it has to be on the side not the top right here it has to go in on the side just like that so it should be facing the comparator like that you're going to do that for each one going all the way down and if you put it on the top that's what it looks like okay now this is pretty much done we only got a couple steps left um the next step after these comparators is gonna be a temporary block uh, you can see i have this platform built right here so this is gonna be this platform is gonna be where the mob farm lives and this side over here is gonna be where the junk chest lives so this is going to be the output this is going to be the junk chest everything is going to be funneled all the way down this way um and then in this chest uh is going to be all the items that we don't want sorted like non-stackable items i mean like armor tools etc so once you get that junk chest placed you're going to hop up on these hoppers you're going to get the hoppers and you're just going to make a chain make a line of hoppers going all the way down and once you get to the last hopper that connects to a chest so this one right here what you're gonna do is you're gonna add one add two add three and then you're gonna put a hopper into that hopper and a hopper into that right there and that's pretty much it that's the item sorter done you can start building the mob farm now i'm gonna show you how to get that started but i'm not gonna build the entire thing again because i literally just showed you how it's the exact same thing just follow the steps do three layers minimum and you're good so the first step from here is you're gonna get your slabs that you needed as part of the material list for the farm and your building block you're going to place a slab there you're a slab there a slab there and a slab there then you're going to put a solid block there on each of the slabs you're going to do that on each of these three sides like that okay. then you're going to bring this up to too high then you're going to place a temporary block and then your fourth wall right there and then from here you go up 20 blocks to make it 21.5 so you add 20 from this set right here you're trap doors are going to be right here so what we need to do is we need an anvil to name our filler we're just going to name it mr filter and that's it that that's how you connect the mob farm all you got to do now is get everything sorted which is really easy all you need is your filter item and you're going to hop up on these chests right here and then you're going to put four blocks in the last four hop uh four slot of the hopper that's it so that way only the first one is open just like that and you're going to do that all the way down the line and then i have right here in, a, in the chest everything that we're sorting these are all of the important items that you'll get from this farm these are all the usable items that you'll get from this farm obviously we got redstone and gun and gunpowder so we're gonna uh first we're gonna put a whole stack in the first slot and it's gonna start going down um and it's gonna stop at 41 so once it stops at 41 we know it's working perfectly there's gonna be 22 in the chest and then there's gonna be one that gets stuck in this hopper back here and it's gonna happen like it's it, that's gonna be like that on all of them so but that shouldn't be an issue. It's not going to be an issue because you're going to get so much stuff from just this mob farm. It's insane. I build one of these in every single one of my worlds and I never run out of any of this stuff ever. 
And that's it. That's what it should look like. Obviously, you'll do the whole structure. You'll do the whole farm right there. And yeah, you can AFK down here. You can decorate this little area however you want to. And that's it. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, like the video, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to build this in your hardcore world or your survival world. And if you learned something, if you learned something, I did my job. Anyways, you guys have a good day. Bye bye. We're going to need hoppers to collect stuff. We're going to need chests to collect collect stuff we're gonna need water to do stuff as long as it's with